And this is my attempt at a cooking segment, and it's not one that like cooking. I'm not doing that sort of stuff. This is a uh, an attempt, and it might be a regular segment, we'll see how it goes, at beer can cooking. So the guys helped me out last night, and we uh, sunk a, a dozen cans, just to, to this video. This is how committed we are to you guys. So we've got all the cans, cut them up, and we uh, today we're going to be making brownies. Why are we making brownies? Well, when we went shopping to look at all the things, I was gonna make cupcakes, and I looked at the cupcake box and it said six steps, and I, nah, I'm not doing that. So then I looked at muffins, and that was four steps. And then I stumbled upon brownies. Who doesn't love brownies? And this is three steps, so that's right up my alley. So we're gonna have a crack at beer can cooking. This is a first for me, and if it takes off, I might do some other things like this too, so let me know in the comments if you like it. The lads helped me out last night, and we, uh, I said, we're gonna do this segment, can you please drink some beer so I can use the cans? So we've got a dozen cans here. Not really sure what the best size is going to be. We've got some various sizes. I am thinking the smaller one is probably going to be the winner. So I'm going to spray these with um, some olive oil spray. Start mixing this up and get into it. All right, if we look at the steps here, it says preheat oven. Well, we've got the fire going and I reckon it's about 106 degrees. Uh, mix it in a bowl, that's easy enough. You've got to have melted butter. So first step for beer can cooking, will be to get the butter. And so I've made this device. Chop the can, not all the way, because when we place it into the fire to melt the butter, we need to hang onto it. So that's gonna be our little way of hanging onto it. I found that this morning. And uh, 125 grams of butter, which I reckon, favorite peasant knife, is about a third of that, I suppose. This is a not as easy as it looks, but that's all right. And if we have extra butter, so be it. Who doesn't love butter? So we'll start that going on the fire. That can start melting. made this myself and my wife is going to tell me I could have made it myself but she's not here so the box is happening. It's making me start to think about what other things I can cook with beer cans. I did a bit of tester with boiled eggs this morning that was successful. So we've got our mix in here. Second step, add the eggs. This is all in the aim of camping without dishes. Now, it says to mix it up with a wooden spoon, but if I'm gonna follow my philosophy of no dishes, it's gonna have to be the tent peg. So we'll have to uh, clean it. All right, it's clean. We'll give that a mix. That'll do. I should have got the butter first before messing this up. Clean. Now we'll go and see if our butter is melted. I think that's good to go. That'll stir in nicely. Chocolatey goodness. Honestly, how to make chocolate better? Add butter. <laughs> I get now why they say wooden spoon. I'm just going to say a longer tent peg, maybe. I think it's probably a good idea to make this as even as possible, so I'll do that at the end with my tent peg. Oh, 
I could eat it just like this. So it says to cook them for about 30, 35 minutes, depending on how gooey you want them. Haven't exactly got an exact 165 degree oven here, so we'll just have to fill that out. Cool that, I don't know if we got, we didn't quite make a dozen, we got 10. Alrighty. Let's uh, pop them in the fire and uh, give them a half an hour and see what they look like. Bloody hell, they taste good. I did think about getting the guys to drink another dozen beers and crush them up so we could use them like, as a triver underneath. I think that might have worked even better. See you in half an hour. So we're going to go and check it out. It's been uh, yeah, 25 minutes. So uh, we'll go and have a look and see what uh, the muffins look like. Excuse this patrol in the way here. Ooh, have a look at this. Looks like we've got a bit of a mixed bag. We've got that one on the top left there is probably a bit overdone, but there's a couple of crackers there. So the next job is to bring them out, let them cool down, take them out the pan, and it's taste testing time. Uh, a well done. I'm sure they'll taste good. <laughs> so we made the muffins uh, yesterday and um, they, I've, I've done a little test on the side but this is what they end up looking like. Turns out that you want to have a deeper can so I don't cut it too low and a bit more mixture to make it more gooey in the middle and um, I've got a taste tester just next to me here so I'm going to dissect this out of here and um, we're going to have a, a live test. Here we go. Through the miracle of editing, um, so basically I'm just going to give this a couple of taps on the bottom and because I greased the outside it's just going to pop out. So uh, I need a taster. Alright, just hold your hand out uh, and uh, I'll just give this a little tap and I'm sure it will just pull out. Hang on a minute. There we, there we go. <laughs> just to, all right, just to get into it. How's the judgment? Top notch. <laughs> there you have it. Camping brownies. Uh, edition one of beer can cooking. Yeah, yeah. This is going to take me a while, so probably just stop. <laughs> it's fun watching. Yeah, what do you want to your hand over? Possibly go wrong here. You sure you don't want a butter knife? There is only one knife, knife in my world. Do you feel fresh yet? Do you feel like all eyes are on you? There might be a couple of metal shavings near the... Aluminium's fine, is it? As long as you don't actually just... Oh, it's going to be straight out on the ground. <laughs> I think it should be easy with a can opener. There's a can opener in the kitchen drawer over there. Maybe a muffin tray. <laughs> no, that's getting silly. We're willing. 